Man, I'm glad we beat this, Keith. This is getting busy. Yep. Welcome back everybody and thanks for joining us. If you're new here, welcome. We are a full-time RV family of five traveling the country in our 37 foot travel trailer. We are the Ball family. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys, I am super excited for this video because it may be a once in a lifetime kind of thing. Today we will be taking you on a crazy hike. We are in Zion National Park and we will be hiking to Scouts Lookout as a family and then I will be permitted to hike to the top of Angel's Landing. Let's go ahead and get started. We're at it again. We got up again at three o'clock and today we are in Zion National Park. We are gonna climb to Scouts Lookout and then I am permitted to climb to Angel's Landing by myself. So this is gonna be exciting. Let's do it. When we started this hike, we knew it was gonna be a tough hike, but we had no idea what we were in for. Now we are not the most in shape people, so this was kind of tough, but man, was it worth it. I'd have to say for me that breathing was probably the hardest part of this hike. We will be gaining 1,115 feet and around three and a half miles during the climb to Scouts Lookout as a family. The hike to Angel's Landing would be about four and a half miles with around 1,604 feet of elevation gain. So no matter if you go to the top of Angel's Landing or stop at Scouts Lookout, this is a lot of elevation gain in a short period of time for people who just ain't used to it. Okay, I think we have cleared Walter, Walter's wiggle. This is uh, no joke of a hike. It's all, it's all uphill. Literally. I mean, I know we're climbing a mountain, but whew. Okay. Thought we were in Walter's Wiggle earlier, but now I know for sure we're there. Tons of short switchbacks. Nice incline. This is Walter's Wiggle. Oh yeah, here we come ladies. Here comes the payout. <laughs> Whew, that's no joke. <sighs> that is no joke. <sighs> Welcome to Scouts Lookout, you guys. This is our first destination on the hike and the final spot for Crystal and the girls. This took us just under two hours, taking our time and many breaks to catch our breath. Now it's time to take a break before we head to the top of Angel's Landing. I say we because we met an awesome couple on the way up and decided to climb it together and not alone. I was prepared to hike this alone, but I am glad I met Keith and had a climbing buddy. Keith and Katie, you have waited long enough to see what kind of footage I captured on our hike that day. So here we go, and I hope you enjoy. Here we go, Angel's Landing, I'm gonna hit the chains. Here we go. I like that they have nice little grooves here. That's pretty nice. Slow and steady, am I right? Try nice and easy. Okay. How are you? How was it? <laughs> uh, uh, Never again. No? <laughs> Once is enough, huh? <laughs> I hear that. Uh, 
<laughs> Amazing. I got a spot I can pull over by this tree if you want to come. You good? Okay. 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 <laughs> right on. Incredible. Yeah. 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 There's one spot there's kind of like just three feet, but the chain is right there. Nice. Crazy. Still can't believe I'm doing it a little bit. <laughs> like I got, I can't believe I got lucky and won this ladder. Holy cow. It's an easy little bit of a scramble here with no chains. That's not bad. Yep, yep. Yep, down this little dip and then she needs to climb. Whew. Incredible. Almost there, and now we just gotta do the, the trek up and close. All right. down a little bit here. <sighs> That's wild. Let's talk about the lottery system here for a second. I hear mixed opinions about needing a permit during the peak season, but it is parts like this on this hike that will make you grateful there's less traffic on the trail. We are here at the end of the season and came on the first bus just to make sure we beat the crowd. And even with the permit system, at the end of our hike on the way down, it started to get busy and the trail at times would come to a stop so people could pass safely. I personally like the permit system and think it should stay in place so everyone can enjoy this hike safely. <laughs> I think here's that three foot section. <laughs> Okay, getting close, getting close. Check that out. I'm okay better with this three foot section than I was scale on the side. Yeah, yeah, the side gets a little, a little sketchy there. <laughs> chains here just gotta make sure you're sure footed and watch where you're going nice and easy it's not too bad everything's pretty grippy
<laughs> you know, it's like, well, which which side of the which side of the cliff do I go on? <laughs> Left side or right side? Hey, eh, right side's got a tree. <laughs> I would have to say this hike really ain't that bad besides the elevation taking your breath away, but there will be parts with no chains and also parts like this that will be kind of like rock scrambling also with no chains. So if you're thinking about doing this hike, I say absolutely do it. Just take your time and be careful. Okay, man, going up. Hell yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, going down is always worse, right? <laughs> so people think going down's the easy part sometimes, but it's really not. <laughs> right. I'm getting it. I'm getting there. Alright. There's a nice section. This right here will make you feel like a rock climber, huh? It's pretty freaking awesome, ain't it? This is impressive. This is wild. This is so cool. Nice wide flat spot here. Not bad. Look at that view. Yeah. Yeah. That's a view, ain't it? It's amazing. Almost there. Almost to the top. Disregard what he keeps saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was prepared to do it by myself, but it's not bad having someone with me. <laughs> A little moral support, right? <laughs> Makes you wonder who the first person was to climb this <laughs> and say, hey, everybody should go up there. It's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, thankfully they did, right? <laughs> Amazing. This is incredible. Ok, 
Okay. Every once in a while you can pull over a little, little traffic by. Almost there. We got one little track right up this top portion of the peak. And I think that's it. Freaking lovely. Guys, take your time if you're coming up here. Take your time. Don't rush. Three points of contact. Sure footing. Pick your path before you just go. Watch for people. Be considerate of each other, guys. Let's all be safe up here. Ladies, I'm almost there, for real. No, not on this chunk. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, we did, uh, we did, uh, Nevada Falls in Yosemite. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was gnarly. Yeah, <laughs> that was gnarly. Those switchbacks back. there were insane. Right. Yeah, that was uh, last summer. We did the same thing. Awesome. Yeah. It was so cool though. Enjoy, guys. Be safe. This is been freaking insane, you guys. Holy cow. Sorry if I'm blocking your footage. I'm uh, more worried about blocking the sun, you know what I'm saying? I wanna see where I'm going. There's no chains in this part. It is on a slope. Um, it's all grippy, nothing's slippery. Feels pretty good. Just be safe, take your time, go slow. We are riding the ridge of the top of a mountain here. Yeah, can you hear me? I'm up here. Is it awesome? Yeah, totally. That's scary. Eh, not too bad. You know, there's some parts here that are, you know, uh, a little nail biting, but not too bad, really. Two hours left took me 55 minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hopefully I readjusted right. Can you see me up here waving? I think so. Are you by a big rock? I am. I am. Yeah, we are by a single big rock. Keith is standing right next to it and I'm out here waving my arms. <laughs> are you sure well we are going to start uh making our way down slowly now okay be careful i love you sure will love you too it's pretty cool yeah. so cool i didn't know if i was gonna get reception up here the exact same thing. <laughs> all right nice and easy that's what i like to see no traffic I think that was one of my biggest worries was the traffic. Yep. Getting close. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's right up there. Basically there, man. Yeah, Last trek. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> 
Right there it is, that last trek and you're up there, man. Enjoy. Got one more coming up. Okay. I think there's two more behind me too. All right, right on. <laughs> I'm like, did I make this area that big? Yeah. Don't uh, think we could make it any bigger. No, there's some spots where we might have to uh, get real close to each other, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm down to hold it. No. <laughs> Got it? Yep. Um, okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna try. Okay. Yeah, we can fit one more in here, and then we'll squeeze by. Or there you go. Yep. You good. Go. Yeah. Hey. Heck yeah, man. Squeeze on in. Right on. Enjoy, guys. We are now headed down after hanging out and soaking in that amazing view. In the beginning of our descent, there was little to no traffic, which was amazing, but that did change closer to the bottom as it got later in the morning. Listen, no matter if you come while a permit is required or not, just be sure to come as early as possible and you won't regret it. Freaking amazing. Tell you what though, I am loving that there's no people right now. <laughs> Thank you for the lottery system. Holy cow. I cannot imagine two way heavy traffic. It'd be insane. I love it. I think I could be wrong because I don't know anything, but. I think that over there is the narrows. I think if you go through, I think you hit right there, you'll hit the narrows. I do believe. Oh man, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it, it was awesome. A little steep here, not bad though. Nice and easy, use your butt if you have to. Oh man. Gnarly car looks like a little dot <laughs> As you can start to see here This is where the traffic starts to pick up and there ain't always tons of room for people to make a pass So take your time be patient and courteous to each other Ain't nothing like sitting on the edge of a cliff uh, about a thousand feet up, yeah? <laughs> Here's the traffic jam. <laughs> it is fantastic. Okay, it's worth it. Yep, yeah, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. I'm just going to get a little you close with you guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We're gonna have to eventually do this. <laughs> You're good. I can pull over here. Okay. Because the chain is my friend. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. Thanks, guys. How long does it take to get to the top and come back? It took me about 40 minutes, taking my time. 40, 45, but it wasn't this busy either, so. But it's worth it. You're gonna love it. Whew. Man. Hey, Keith, I'm glad we missed this. Freedom to do, and the freedom to be at least 1,000. I think we got another clear in here, Keith. Oh. We'll follow this group. <laughs> Let them clear it yep. <laughs> As you can see here, it's super crowded and this is still permit season. Honestly, I can't imagine it being busier than this and still being enjoyable. Man, I'm glad we beat this, Keith. 
This is getting busy. Yep. Um, damn, I wish there was a better way to cross these guys. I know, makes me do it, me too, me too. So nervous. There it is, man. Finish line. That was awesome. Was it? Yeah, that was awesome. Scary. Took me long. Oh, one percent. Look at there, it's about to die. <laughs> I got to the bottom. <laughs> Top and down. Top and down. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was gnarly. One hour and 13 minutes to get down. You guys, I cannot begin to explain how amazing this hike was. We have already done some hard and beautiful hikes, but this one will always be at the top of our list of favorites. When I first started this hike, I thought this would be one of them one-time hikes, but now I'm really already looking forward to the day one of my daughters wants to hike this, because I'll be sure to be the one to be hiking it with them again. Be sure to catch our next video as we go to Bryce Canyon National Park and get blown away by its beauty, and this is also where I learn how to take night sky photos. And don't forget to subscribe to become the newest members of our family. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.